been following this case since it came to light all over social media, YouTube, the news, etc. Her friends are sketchy as fuck. All these people covering this case, the majority of them, I don't pay attention to. None of this shit makes sense. This anime shit, this fucking Ick Mill guy, this fucking P.I., whatever the fuck you want to call him. This guy that found the computer. All this nonsense bullshit drama that's going on between all these YouTubers, these true crime channels. 99% of them are all garbage. They're not actually after the truth. They're just after clicks and views. Yeah, I'm a YouTuber too, but... My channel... I'm just looking for the truth. I don't care about clicks. I don't care about views. I don't care about subscribes. None of that bullshit. Whatever is done in the dark will always come to light. Until this toxicology report and autopsy is released and they can determine what actually happened to her, how she died, whether she's got water in her lungs. If she doesn't, that means she was dead before she even got put in the water. Nothing makes sense. Now, her not being buckled in, if she was driving, and this is an accident, I could see how she could end up in the back. Because the car flipping and her floating around, and she'd been there over two weeks. Nothing makes sense. Like I, I would always said, you find the car, you find her. Who would have thought it was so close to where her cell phone was pinged? FBI there, sheriff's department, multiple agencies, thousands of man hours. They didn't find nothing. Thankful for AWP for doing the great work that they do. They're trained to use the sonar that they use, and they use it every day. You can see it on their YouTube channel. They're great at what they do. They're trained to find vehicles, and they're finding vehicles that are been down there 30 years. Or more. And they're trained how to remove a vehicle. Especially if there's a body inside. Piss poor recovery. On my opinion. The fact that stuff was able to fall out the vehicle. And they just left it there. Doesn't make any sense. How can you do a proper investigation and you don't seal which is the crime scene, the vehicle? But, I don't know. This is my thoughts on this case so far. I'm leaning towards foul play. Her friends are too sketchy. The way they put themselves out there. Going on people's YouTube channels like they're more after fame five minutes of fame that's how I look at it but only time will tell whatever's done in the dark will always come to light